Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and today I'm going live with Shana Dawn Lewis from Christlike Creations. So, if you have any um, questions for me or Shana, please put them in the comment section below or in the comments box. And if you would like to be interviewed on this Instagram live section, please send me a DM. They're filling up quite quickly actually. I've got quite a lot of really fun guests coming up so I will post something letting you know who is going to be coming up. Hello to bro.n8270. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're just waiting for Shana to join us. Hello. Hi. So we've got quite a few people who are going to be joining us today. Today we're going to be talking about vegan food and lifestyle. Hello to Marcia Dixon, excellent PR person. Um, we're talking about vegan food and lifestyle and we're going to be talking to Shana about what it is that she does as well. So she will be joining me in a short while. In the meantime, if you have any questions for me, because I'm also going to be doing next week a Q&A session where I'm going to be answering your questions. I've got loads of questions that you've asked me. So I will be putting those together in a list. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, please feel free to, um, oh, here is Shana. All right, just one second. Let me see. She should be joining me any second now. Yes, yeah, so if you have any questions for um, you want added to the list, please feel free and I will add them and answer. Hi, Shana. Hello, hi. hi. Oops. <laughs> you'll have to, you'll have to bear with me trying to sort this out. Okay, I love your hair. It. Right, because if I do it that way, you're at the side. Yeah, Does that... turn it up that way. Okay. Yeah. Right, oh my gosh, you know, what? I'm gonna have to take it out of the sleeve in order to. Hello to the chickpea Christian who's just joined us. Hi, hi, hi to everybody. Hi to everybody who's joining us. Just to let you know, today I'm on an Instagram live with Shana Dawn Lewis, who is also known as the Create Christ Like Creations on right. Instagram. So Please follow Shana on Christlike Creations. And also, if you're not following me, please follow me on Instagram so you will see, get notifications of more great interviews like this, also for great vegan recipes and so forth as well. So, Shana, are you ready for us? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> yes. Let me fix myself. <laughs> okay. okay, let me fix myself as well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, lovely to virtually meet you. Yeah. Yes, likewise, likewise. <laughs> yes. So, for our um, viewers, tell us who you are and what it is that you do. That would be really interesting. Okay, so my name is Shana Dawn Lewis, and uh, my business name is Christlike Creations, and I make bespoke celebration cakes, and I also make handmade candles and cards as well Lovely. but um, i'm more focused on the cakes because you know yeah that's what people are more interested in mm -hmm. okay so tell me about a particular cake i'm going to give you an opportunity to kind of um, <laughs> tell people how you've mixed with the great and good tell me about a particular cake that you've made for somebody really famous okay so october of last year Yes. I got a, I simply sent a, a text message to a friend just to see how they were. I'd recently met them just to see how they were. Yes. And they came back with, oh, I'm fine. No, I actually phoned to say happy birthday to them. And they came back with a message and said, um, oh, is there a possibility that you could make a cake for me? And I was like, yeah. What? They, and they described the cake and they said it would be of a white male and in a torso. And I was like, oh. and a hearing chest. And I said, Okay, that sounds like Simon Cow. I don't know. I just, I, I guess because the person who who sent me the text was Sunita. I was oh, like, oh. Yes, <laughs> I was like, that sounds like Simon Cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And to, to my joy, it was. It was a. It was um, a birthday cake, sixtieth birthday cake for Simon Cowell last year. Wow! Mm -hmm. How amazing. Yeah. Did you get to meet him as well? 
Unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't get oh. to meet him. I, I didn't get to meet him. And I have yet to have the call. I heard that he really liked the cake. Okay. But I have yet to have the call from him to say right. so. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's an amazing person to have on your client list as well. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. I, yeah, for sure. So what other, what type of other kind of unusual cakes have you had to make? So you're kind of like the UK cake boss lady, aren't you? Oh, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Along with Celebrity Baker. And, yeah, yeah. Yes, Celebrity Baker, yeah. Well, I've made, um, I've made, sorry, my glasses are thinning up a bit. I've made, uh, I've made a hat for a 75 year old. Um, it looks like a church hat. I've done a sewing machine. I've made a um, cake for my friend who was, um, who had had breast cancer. Oh, okay. And um, I, for her 50th birthday cake, I actually made her, it was clothed, I made her a cake, a boob cake, but it, you know, a clothed one. Okay. And so all sorts of, um, you know, select cakes that people like to, to have, I kind of make them. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter what the answer is to the next question, but I'm okay. just wondering, do you make vegan cakes? Well, do you know what? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do now. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? At first, I, let, I was leaving it to those that are experienced in that field. Mm -hmm. But then I realised that I was getting loads of emails and calls with regards to vegan cakes. And I was like, well, I'm losing clients here. I'm losing customers yeah. here. So the sensible thing to do was to go to get into my kitchen and start to source vegan stuff and make some vegan cakes. Not taking it away from um, the vegan specialists, but my clients were are actually asking for that. So I needed to adapt. And it was a good job I did because when I started to make them, I then got the call with regards to Simon's cake and his cake was a vegan cake. Well, so, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> As a vegan myself, you know, yeah. enough said, enough said. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that, important. That's amazing. And I yeah. appreciate people who are not vegan who cater for vegans because it just mm. makes our lives so much yeah. easier. Thank you to yeah. Prissy the Pig for joining us. Thank you so much. Just some shout out. Mad Mad Forgive me for the, the terrible pronunciations. Madeira <laughs> Val, Pat W61, Pat Wright, I think that is. Um, and all the other Delaney Forbes, my friend from school, the Chickpea Christian, Marty Dixon, and yeah. so forth, everybody else on the on the line. Thank you for joining us. So if you've just joined us, we're talking to Shana Dawn Lewis, who is a celebrity baker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, her um, Instagram is Christlike Creations. Please follow her. And if you're not following me already, please follow me on Instagram as well. So... Tell me, what is your experience with vegan food? Um, I've eaten it. <laughs> I've eaten it. <laughs> that's a start, that's a start. <laughs> you know, um, I tell you what, my my vegan my my experience with vegan food yes. comes about, or honestly, once a year at the beginning of the year. Yeah, once a year. For three weeks. For 21 days, to be precise. Oh, January. Yep. <laughs> it's something. It's something. So, yeah. that's, that's, so I do, and as a, I'm a qualified chef, so I'm able to, to, you know, experiment with food and to do new things and create recipes and what have you. So, in all honesty, that's when it comes about. There are times where throughout the year that I will say, you know what, I'm going to have a, a vegan meal or what have you, or... But it's not something that I participate in on a regular basis. So that would be my experience. Okay. That would be my experience. Oh, that, that's food. good. That's a good experience. <laughs> yeah. Those watching, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section or in the question box, and we're happy to take questions um, as we throughout this interview. So, why do you think vegan food is really popular nowadays? Over the past couple of years, it's just rocketed. It, do you know what it really has? Um, when I start, um, I'm not, I think people are more are starting to appreciate more about how, what they're putting into their bodies. And I, yeah, and I think that's definitely the, the onset of it. People are just thinking, you know what, the change of climate and, and what have you. 
And if I stop eating meat and, uh, you know, and do plant based, then I'll, I'll get for a better uh, lifestyle and what have you. And I think people also are becoming more empathetic with the way um, animals are treated and think, yes. uh, what have you. So that's another that's another sort of spin on why it is. And um, I was going to say cheaper. I'm not sure that it is cheaper. <laughs> I don't know that it is. It can Having... be. It can be. There are some vegan products that can be more expensive, mm. and I have no clue. But right. generally speaking, if you think of vegetables, beans, and pulses, yeah. They're, yeah. they're much cheaper than meat and They fruit. are. Yeah. So exactly. There are yeah. some vegan products, and they're usually the ones that are not super healthy. That right. are more expensive, and I really don't understand why. Maybe why? They're not mass produced as much as others. I don't know. Okay. But, yeah, I I do notice, but in general, it is cheaper, definitely. Mm. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, okay. do you have a favorite animal, and if so, what is it and why? I don't think I do. I don't have. You're talking about an animal to pet, or you know, you're that's what any, you're saying. Any. 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 Um, doesn't have to be a domestic one, no. Sorry, doesn't have to be a domestic. It one. doesn't have to be a domestic one. Because some people say dolphins, some people say you know. Right, because I was going to say because what came to mind is peacocks. I think they're the most. Oh yes, honestly, I do love a peacock. Yes, they're beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, yes. and so um, just. What I found online. Oh, sorry, my phone's talking to me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, lad. <laughs> So um, peacock, definitely, I would say. I just find them very beautiful. And when you get one that opens up their feathers, um, and yes. you see, and I've and uh, uh, one of the cake, cakes that I did last year, I used peacock feathers for mm -hmm. the um, cake for the cake for a hat, and it really what it really kind of took the the cake to another level with the peacock feathers and what have you. So, yeah, I'd definitely say it would be a peacock. I didn't think I had, but, you know, talking about it, yeah, that's what came to mind. Uh, we have a question from Prissy the Pig, which is, I think her name is Charlene. What's your favourite cake to bake and why? Welcome is that me? To, yes, just a quick, welcome to Adventist Radio London. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, so the question must be to you, <laughs> your favourite cake. <laughs> Actually, we can both answer it. We can both answer it. Okay. But obviously, you're more of a cake person than me. All right. <laughs> so my favourite cake is uh, West Indian fruit cake. Call it rum oh, cake. Okay. Yeah, rum cake, black cake, Trinidadian cake, Jamaican fruit cake. That's my thing. And I've, what I have found is that my customers really like it. Also, it's quite my most popular. And the reason why I would say is that because... Um, you do not find uh, Caribbean fruitcake, West Indian fruitcake, often, if at all, really, because part of my research, you don't find them in novelty cakes. You don't you find... find it in the shops. Sorry? I can't think. You, can you buy it in the shops? I don't think you can. Not that, I, not that I... Not this not, country, anyway. No, no. And so, you, you know, some of my cakes, like the, the sewing machine cake that I did, that was a West Indian fruit cake. You, what you would mostly find in novelty cakes is carrot cake, Victoria sponges, okay. those sort of things. But when, but you know, to have it in a black cake, yes, uh, and have that cut into it, and it's not a chocolate cake, and it's not Victoria sponge, yes. people get excited. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, they'll get excited. So that's that's why I would say that is my um, the cake for me, and I like to eat it as well. I love it. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Unveiled Inc. and Jennifer Jules and Darling Magazine as well. Thank you. For oh wow! These are people I know. <laughs> We're celebrities now. We've got a magazine watching. <laughs> <laughs> Please inbox us if you'd like to interview either of us or both. Mm. Fine. We're happy to do so. Also, yes. Oh, hello. They're saying hi back as well. So, have you ever cooked any vegan food before? Um, or if you haven't, then what vegan dish do you think you would like to cook? Well, sorry, I'm just, okay. So I have, because you remember at the beginning I said um, once a year, I dedicate to doing a Daniel fast. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so I have kind of done... favorite Right, okay, so this is dish that we have in Trinidad, and that's where my mum's from, called Callaloo, and it's a combination of um, okra, 
and spinach. Mm -hmm. And I love to have that. I mean, when I was growing up, it threw pigtails and stuff in it and so salt fish, but I don't do that with it when I'm having my vegan when I'm having my vegan time. I have that. And there's another one I really like, and it is uh, mushroom curry, curried mushrooms. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I just I love that <laughs> with some uh, brown rice. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the three of them together with some avocado. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sounds very nice. <laughs> Sounds very nice. Yes, yes. So what projects do you have coming up? I mean, I, I do understand we're in mm. a pandemic. And yeah. probably yourself, like myself, all of my projects have ground to a screeching halt. Mm. So mm -hmm. my super busy diary is now like, not super busy <laughs> kind of thing yeah. apart from my instagram schedule mm -hmm. is now ramping up really, really yeah quickly actually but do you have any projects coming up um i don't uh well i did like yourself i did have okay. and i had some stuff in the making um that i was that i had planned to be doing and they definitely have ground into a halt as a result of the pandemic um, I what I am currently writing my book, and so Ooh. yeah, so that helps to pass the time um, at, at the moment. And I'm finding that I'm doing um, I'm being a bit more creative. I'm but, see, I'm a cake maker, but what I'm finding is I'm making pastries and you know it's things that I wasn't making before. And even today, I was, I wanted to make some hot cross buns, and I had no oh, yeast. Yeah, I had no yeast, so I've decided to start my own a starter, my own yeast. So I started oh. doing, yeah, cultivating oh. that today. So i have been putting that. So there's new things happening. It's taking on a different spin. So I'm able to put that up on my Instagram and um, show what I'm doing and sort of low. What have you got in your cupboard? So low calories, sweet things, and and what have you? No eggs. I've got no eggs. So let's do this, and you know, or limited eggs. So trying to do something else. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you want to do anything baking without eggs, I'm, I'm good at that. <laughs> You're good, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you watch any cooking shows at all? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. I do. do. you have a favourite one? I have a favourite one. I love it. I love it. I, 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 I like watching all of them. But... Do you? I, do you know what? I like watching it across the board. If I find one, that's it. I'm hooked into it. I'm glued. At the minute, I'm watching MasterChef. Okay. Is what? Yeah, I'm watching MasterChef. Oh, when it comes to the ones on sort of Sky and Netflix and what have you, it's it's Cake Wars and Cake Balls oh. and all of those ones that, you know, now it's a british cake program oh so, the one where they show you different cake designers yes there you go yes, I just, it slipped my mind yes there's like a lady in essex and she looks like she hasn't left school that long yes she there you go like, ah, <laughs> yes there you go my goodness she's so talented yes. yeah they are and, it's and then there's perfect. an african lady on there as well there you go same oh, program fantastic. I can't think of the name of the show right now. <laughs> I can't remember. And so, I, yeah, I love I love any kind of cake and um, cake programs and chefing pro chefing cooking programs. Yeah, yeah sure. myself, I love cooking programs, but the one that is really giving me a lot of joy, particularly now in this time of the pandemic, you mm -hmm. want things to make you smile. I love watching Nailed It. Oh my gosh! Do you know what? <laughs> I started to watch. I started to watch that, and it actually cheated me off. That was the only one. It just drives Where me. Where did I find those people from? Where? <laughs> exactly. I was like, "Chuck, no, I'm not watching it. No, I love it because I watch it, and I think, "What?" And they're wicked. They give them the most ridiculously hard things to do. There you go. There you go. And you, you're like, they're never going to be able to achieve that. You know this. <laughs> So I know the program and I watch it occasionally, but sometimes I'm like, no, no, can't do that. No. <laughs> okay. So we're having quite a few people joining us again. <laughs> Official, oh, Amber Crystal, she's a, an amazing vocalist, has joined us. Hi, Amber. Hi, um, Amber. Lawrence87, thank you for joining us and thank you for everybody else. We're speaking with um, Shana Dawn Lewis, who is a celebrity baker. And follow that. her on social media, Christlike Creations 1 is her Instagram. And follow me, Curly Sue's Kitchen 
on Instagram, follow us. Um, so you can see more great videos just like this. Okay. So vegan or not, what are some of your favorite things to eat? Oh, <laughs> at the moment, it's just so crazy. But at the moment, cheesy beans. <laughs> cheesy beans. <laughs> You know who are qualified chefs, baker to the stars. What's your favorite food? Cheesy beans. <laughs> That's brilliant. Hi, Miss Blessed One. Thanks for joining us. You know who it is? Okay. Cheesy beans. Yes. Cheesy beans because it's filling. Yeah. It's filling and it's quite nutritious. And I'm actually, I'm actually thinking of trying to make baked beans myself. Doing oh. the tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing it myself, especially in this time, present time. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of doing it myself. And so Cheesy Beans is, is, is currently my favourite. But um, I am, you know, I'm, I'm quite simple. Because I am a chef mm -hmm. and because I make cakes, I like posh cooking. I like great cooking. But when it comes to home cooking, I'm quite simple. People I'm, are laughing. Okay. <laughs> I can see all the smiley faces, people busting up laughing. Okay. Oh my gosh, Verona is unveiling. She's like, she's busting up. I can see. <laughs> they probably thought, right, I came with my pen and paper to get yeah. some wood tips. Right, right. So, okay, she's going to say her favourite thing. What is it? Welcome to Harrison Gunn presenter. Thank you. For Sorry, guys. I mean, it is. It just <laughs> at the minute. No, that, know, that made my day. <laughs> and also, it's quite. It is funny because I'm trying to cut down. I'm trying. I've been doing. I've been on a. I'm, I I live with a health condition, so I'm actually one of the shielded now. I'm oh, actually, okay. Yeah, I'm actually the shielded. Yeah, so I can't leave. I'm only in the second week of my twelve weeks of shielding, so. Oh. Don't listen. I've just oh, because I was I was due to have another brain up. Uh, anyway, another story. But yeah, <laughs> this, is not, that, this is not that. This is not that program. <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, yeah. So cheesy be um, and I'm 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 really into just eating. Currently, I'm eating anything that's lowing. I'm trying to do lowing calorie stuff. I, I've got a sweet tooth, so I'm trying to do things that oh, are low right. calorie. Yeah. So you know. Um, so I don't have a particular favourite thing to eat. I mean, if it were, if it was me, and I know this is, not, you know, but I, I, I'm a lover of lamb and pork. Or those are my favourite kind of meat. I'm not. I like chicken, but it's not my favourite. But um, other than that, no. It's, yeah, I'm just. Nah, I, I just like to. Was, was ever good? <laughs> in the in the um, comments, Ink says cheesy beans is the lick. It's the lick. <laughs> Yes, but of thank course, you. you know that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. It's been wonderful having you. You've made me uh, laugh. My face, my cheeks are aching now. <laughs> so tell us, where can we find you on social media? Plug yourself now, girl. <laughs> okay, so for my cake page, it's Christ Like Creations 1. Yes. Okay, I'm on Instagram and on Facebook, it's Christ Like Creations. Mm -hmm. My personal page, you can find me under Shana Dawn Lewis. Facebook Shana Dawn, no, IG is Shana Dawn, Facebook is Shana Dawn Lewis, or just the Sassy Saint, I go by aka the Sassy Saint, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit enough, okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind saying, okay. <laughs> however, um, yeah, but those are the places that you can find me on my private um, account as well as my cake, my cake page. Well, thank you so much. It's been wonderful having you. If you'd like to book Alison to make a celebrity cake or a cake for you, if you want to be... Who's that? Who's Alison? Sorry, Alison. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Who's if you'd Alison, like Shana, I'm looking at something else. If you'd like to book Shana to, to make your celebrity cake or to speak at your event or um, anything else, please feel free to reach out to her on Instagram if you'd like to book me to speak at your event or don't forget to buy my book. Um, my um, link is in the pin <coughs> comments. Um, hello to Alison Wheeler, the South. Uh, yeah, sorry, Alison, I said you instead. Uh, one last comment, brilliant video. Thank you, ladies. Brightened my day. Ah, oh, thank you. That's what I would like. That's what 
Can I just say one thing? Can I just say one thing? Just to let you know that both Susan and I are featured in this month's um, Keep the Faith magazine. I have a cake column in there. I'm doing an Easter cake. And um, so you're going to have to remind me what you're doing. (laughs) Mine is about my book. Cooking with kids right. is a plant-based book for kids and parents. Yes. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought. I thought we'd try and plug that as well. You know what I mean? It's a, and you'll see us. You'll see us in the next edition as well. Yes. And um, I intend to do some Easter stuff over the weekend. Okay. So, yeah. One mm-hmm. last thing. Do you have any inspiring words for people at this time? Do you know what? There's this acronym that I kind I live kind of live by, and I'd like to encourage people with it. And it's hope. And it's hold on past empty. Right. Hold Good. on past empty. I like that. I like that. Right. Hope. Because right now, when in these unprecedented times, people are feeling extremely empty. Yeah. People are feeling like that what, you know, they're pulling their hair out. Um, there's stuff that you didn't even think that you would be thinking about saying, mm-hmm. doing or anything i'm in a very fortunate situation i have my 17 year old son who is great we you know he's moody he's a moody 17 year old nevertheless we have a good relationship i also have the use of a garden you know it looks like epping forest but i've got a balcony (laughs) right i have all of these things i have space i have food and what have you and but there's some people that do not have that and they are left in a situation with abusers with all kinds of things happening for them but what i would say in these times is hold on past empty yeah. hope yeah. this too shall pass it yeah. absolutely will yeah. so just just hold on in what best way you can you're going to get out of this for sure i like that hold on past empty so thank you everybody who was watching thank you so much to shana Oh, eat thank good. you. Yeah. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. See you next time. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.